make bigger profits in your small business? Like many of us, I'm sure you're feeling it. Business is hard. And now more than ever, you need to have a plan to help your business not just survive, but thrive. And it's as easy as thinking with the end in mind. I'm Marcia Reiner. I'm the business growth strategist. I've helped tons of small business owners establish and implement a tangible plan that guarantees increased profitability, guide your growth, and plans for your future exit. Because a business worth selling is also a business worth owning. I want to share strategies that I've earned and learned with you on today's Profit with a Plan podcast. But before we get started, I have something to share with my listeners. I put together an insightful and think outside the box web class on Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific time. It's specifically designed to help you learn how to turn your business into one worth selling, even if you aren't thinking of selling it yet. Why now? Join me and find out all the benefits that can come with a sale-ready business. Register for free at exitwithaplan.com. I'm really excited to have my guest, Jill Lublin, with me today. Jill is an international speaker on topics of radical influence, publicity, networking, kindness, and referrals. She's the author of four best-selling books, including Get Noticed, Get Referrals, and co-author of Guerrilla Publicity and Networking Magic. Her latest book, Profit of Kindness, went number one in four categories. Jill is a master strategist on how to position your business for more pro- um, profitability and more visibility in the marketplace. She is a CEO of strategic consulting firm and has over 25 years experience working with over 100,000 people nationally and internationally in media. Jill teaches a virtual publicity crash course and consults and speaks all over the world. She has spoken on many stages with luminaries such as Tony Robbins, and she also helps authors create book deals with major publishers and agents as well as foreign deal rights. Wow, Jill, this is amazing. Welcome to public with <laughs> Profit with a Plan. Your publicity and your skill set is like, wow, I'm so excited to have you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, you know, we're all in a place um, where I think that business owners need publicity and they don't know how to do it. They really just think that, oh, if I post on social media or, you know, I do some sort of advertising thing, but publicity is different, isn't it? Publicity is definitely different. You know, here's the deal. You don't have to pay for it. You're not spending a ton of money on expensive, by the way, advertising and Mm -hmm. social media, which, you know, who knows what hole that goes into sometimes. I mean, honestly, no, I do. I do believe in social media. I do believe in advertising. I think everything balanced is a good thing, depending on your business, depending on what you need. But the truth is why I love publicity is it's free. And the power of that credibility, woo, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't actually buy that. It would be too expensive. You know, that makes total sense. And it's something, again, that, that business owners don't look to. And, and I have to say, is, is your PR part of your brand? I mean, is that really what you're promoting? So the, tr- the reality is you are your brand. You are PR no matter what. I mean, whether you're a one-person business or your Coca-Cola, who, by the way, spends a fortune on publicity. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, let me just say, you are publicity. From the minute you walk out your door into the Zoom room, out for a cup of coffee, into an airplane, out for a walk, guess what you're doing? Publicity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's get this straight and be who you want to be that's authentic to your brand and actually, you know, is the message that you want perceived in the marketplace. Oh, that's a good point. All right. So how do we do that? Um, you know, yes, we're out and about. We're doing our regular stuff. We're meeting with clients. We're in our organizations. We're, we're doing stuff we can. But how do we really get valuable PR? You know, where we're, we're like doing something that, that maybe gets in the newspaper or on TV? So a couple things. One is you have to realize that you are, yes, like you said, Marcia, you're a brand, right? Mm-hmm. You represent. So let's get clear on your message. Uh-huh. Let me know who you are and that you know who you are. No ums and odds when someone says, 
what do you do? I want um, you confident, prepared. I want you excited and, well, you know, consistent with your message. Mm. I think a lot of people try to shift things and answer differently at different times. And then I'm like, well, what does he actually do? What, are, you know, and I get confused because you're not consistent and persistent. And I do think that's a key to success in your publicity. I love that. Okay. So that was a big aha for me because I too have been in many instances where you hear somebody and they go, well, I do this, but then I do this and then I do that. Or every time you go hear them, they're saying they do something different. So that clarity is so important. Is there any kind of framework or foundation we should know about when we're talking about what we do and who we are? Absolutely. I have a wonderful formula, very simple, because I've made it simple. I believe in simplicity, right? And this mm. is the other thing. It's stop dazzling people with your brilliance as much as I know you're all brilliant. Why don't we just keep things really simple for people and make them easy, right? So I'm a big yeah. believer in keep things simple for people. That way they can remember it. So, right. yeah. So here's my formula. It's a message formula. And that is, I want you to identify what's the problem out there. I did not ask you what you do. I didn't say, how do you do it? I just want to know what's the problem out there. Like, and then from a media perspective, I will tell you the media, they want to know statistics, back it up. Give us some, give us some foundation under that and explain, you know, why is it important? Not too much explanation, but really a little more backup. And then give solutions, like you are the solution provider, right? As far as I know, people watching this, people listening to this, you are experts. You mm -hmm. understand why others need to have what you have and know what you know and buy your service and work with you and buy your product, whatever it is, right? Um, so I want you to give people real solutions, real things to do, but you know, do it in, what might I call this? Uh, well, let's do appetizers, not full meals, <laughs> right? Like Fantastic. Don't, don't fire hose people. They can't take it. Yes. And you know, we do that often. I know I catch myself doing that too. You know, I'm so excited and I'm so passionate about what I do and, and the message I'm going after that. It's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You got somebody, you're going to listen to me. Here you go. You know, <laughs> it's the worst thing I can do. So I love that consistency or conciseness that you should have in what you're saying. Um, and you're problem solving. And I love it that we're the answer, right? Yes, you're the answer, you're the solution, right? And so of course people need to feel that and know that. Mm. So when I, what I find is when you're confident in your message, when you're prepared, like there's an interior designer I've worked with recently and she said to me, Jill, oh my gosh, before I worked with you, I was always like a deer in headlights. I never knew what to say when people said, what do you do? And I'm shy and I, I just felt mm -hmm. funny and embarrassed. And then what I noticed with her is she came to a next session and she goes, wow, I practiced your message. And she closed $2,000 worth of business at a networking event because she was clear on her message. See, people feel that from you. They, they feel your confidence. I'm not saying you have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. But I want you to be confident. I want you to be concise and precise. Oh, I want you to really give an invitation, maybe even for a next level of the moment of, you know, how do we connect with you versus the fire hose or tell them everything, right? And so that's how you create clients, customers, media attention, and, and really bring people to you. And the fabulous thing about that message formula is it works in multiple places. The I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. Oh my gosh, that's your, that's your introduction pitch. That's your networking pitch. That's your beginning of any conversation you're going to have when someone goes, what do you do? Let alone the fantastic opportunities if you got on uh, some sort of public stage, you know, or, or TV or, or a podcast or... Absolutely. And that's the point, right? Is that you're able to say it, be it, and have that come out of you that's real, right? So mm -hmm. one, one of the men I worked with, he uh, changed it on social media, put his problem solution there. He got 250 likes that day. Uh, you know, I don't know about you, but I want 250 likes, right? I want that engagement. Sure. 
So yeah. that's, that's what we're referring to is getting people engaged with you and at least getting to the point where they, they get it. Oh, I yeah. understand what she does. Yeah, that's so much better than that crazy kind of like, let's wordsmith this into a way that people go want to go, what does that mean? Oftentimes they're going, I don't have time for you. And they're going the other way. So I like that. And, and, and it's something that if I'm understanding this correctly, when you're talking about the problem, ideally the person that you're talking to would have that problem, right? And, and you're, you're going, where they're going, hey, how did you know? I have that problem. Let me talk some more about that. So I like it. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So now we have our message. We're clear. We're, we're using our message in, in multiple uh, arrays of, of opportunities. How do, we, how do we elevate that? How do we get that in a place where, where we can really start impacting more? So good news is once you have your message, you can take it everywhere because media, let's say, you know, here's the truth. Most media interviews are like four minutes and 20 seconds. I remember when the Prophet of Kindness came out, I was actually on seven Fox News interviews in the first eight days. Now, let me tell you, first of all, that's a lot and it requires on off on off. Right. And, and do you know, an average media interview was four minutes and 20 seconds. I timed them. Wow. four wow. minutes, and 20 seconds. Yeah. So on most, you know, ABC, NBC, CBS, radio, TV affiliates and around the world, you, an average media interview will be about, let's call it four minutes. Right now, in four minutes, you got to rock that thing. And I want you to come out the gate swinging with a message that matters and that's impacting people powerfully. But guess what else? When you're networking, when you're out in the world, you got maybe one minute to introduce yourself. That's even less, right? So again, you want to be connected to your message. You want to be powerful in your communication. You want to be excited about what you do. Like you said, oh, you're so excited. Yes, people will feel that. And, and they'll feel your energy about what excites you about whatever you're doing so that they start magnetizing to you. Because mm -hmm. that's really what your message does is it magnetizes people to you. That then yeah, monetizes you. That then multiplies you. That's the whole idea of the game, right? Absolutely. Let's, let's, let's bring them in. Let's get them interested in you. And then let's make some opportunities and money with it. All right. I like that. Yeah, wow. absolutely. And here's the thing, you know, the power of, of having that message also gives you influence and impact. And I know, you know, if you're watching this and you're connected to Marcia, you want to have influence and impact, right? You want to have mm -hmm. contribution. Mm -hmm. And the power of why I love publicity is it allows you to reach many as opposed to just a few. Or That's one great. Group. That, that's so, that's so perfect for exactly what we all should be doing, you know, presenting our message and our ideas and getting more people attracted to our business. And I think that's fantastic. How does one go out and get some of the bigger opportunities, such as you had mentioned? I mean, fantastic. Congratulations, by the way, on four books and the most recent one going out, right? And, and becoming number one everywhere. How does one get on CNBC or, or, or CBS or, or ABC or NBC. Holy cow. That's like, that's only for stars, right? No, it isn't actually only for stars. And this is the point. But before we go there, I just have to show you besides the profit of kindness going number one, it's now in India translated. <gasps> and wow. just this week, I just have to show you, I got the Russian copy of the profit of kindness. Whoa, this is it in Russia. Okay? Wow. So talk about how to spread your message. Well, and I don't even know if you could spell check that because I mean, that's, you better hope they did it right. That's fantastic. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. And it's that's super awesome. exciting. And so part of the, the way I got, you know, onto the different Fox networks or in Inc. Magazine and Forbes, which I've now been in twice, um, just in the past year and a half with the Profit of Kindness, let me share with you that it's because I um, pushed the right button, found the right message. Because it ain't, it isn't like, ooh, you know, I got a new book out. As much as I'd love to say that, it's not true. What mm -hmm. is true is that I pushed the right button. And in this mm -hmm. case, with the profit of kindness, it was about the kindness message. And mm -hmm. Lord knows we need it now more than ever, right? Yes, ma'am. And that's the button I pushed, you know? And even now we've got World Kindness Day coming up. 
Um, and that's in November and I'll be doing a, a kindness summit related to that. It's about pushing the right button. So there I am on the TV, on the phone right now, talking to Fox News again, going, hey, listen, we got World Kindness Day coming up. So you wanna tie into what's working. If you're a mental health expert or coach or anything in that arena, when Simone Biles said no to the Olympics, I mean, my yeah. gosh, I called everyone I know who's in that area of mental health and said, let's go, you know, it's That's your time to shine. So you want to be watching and listening for stories. Keep your PR antennas up. Those are your PR antennas. <laughs> love it and then and then you're writing on that that message that's popular at the time right you know well, so know about writing it. I just you know what honestly I'm gonna say pick up the darn phone and call your local ABC radio and TV NBC CBS affiliates it's like six calls honestly okay and just pick it up I had a an abundance coach in Salt Lake City Utah get on uh, their morning show on an ABC affiliate in Salt Lake City, Utah, because guess what? She did exactly what I told her to do. She picked up the phone and had the right message, which is we're going into a new year. We're coming through a pandemic. People don't know what to do to be abundant. Here are some great tips for financial wellness. Guess what? They said, yes, we want you to share that with our viewers. She has a uh, book. She's a coach. Uh, how fantastic. So it's having a message and then... So, so I had, um, I had went through a publicity training course that someone else had done a few years back, and it just seems so hard to be able to write these topics and pitch these, you know, um, uh, interviewers or, 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 um, you know, newspapers or magazines or whatever, it just seems so hard, but the way you just explained it, it was easy. It sounded easy and it well, wasn't, well, easier than than what I had heard, you know, before. So I mean, that's what always stopped me. I was like, oh, it's a fantastic idea, but it seemed hard. So here's the thing. Um, I, I first of all, yes, I like to keep things easy. There are press release distribution services that make it easier. Number one. Number two. Um, I like to, most of the people I work have somebody who's a virtual assistant who handles some of these pieces. I mean, honestly, think about this, my friends. If you spent one hour a week delegating some visibility building activities, like what we're talking about right here, imagine this one hour a week, 52 weeks, 52 actions a year. I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to have podcasts, you're going to have articles, you're going to be on TV, you're going to be in media, you're going to be seen and heard because your focus and intention is there and you don't have to be doing this. Listen, in today's world, you can hire someone at really reasonable rates to do the things I'm talking about. Thank you for saying that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saying that. We spend so much time trying to do everything, wearing all our eight hats, spending 16 hours a day, six days a week trying to get this beast of a business going and servicing the clients and doing all that. That's not our strength. And for fractions of the dollar or pennies on the dollar, we can have somebody who knows what they're doing and can go do this for us. And then we show up and shine. That's Love right. that. That's right. Wow, they look yeah. it for you. There's so many alternatives now. Let's take shortcuts, get the hacks going, and frankly, get media going. And the good news is lots of ways in now. In fact, frankly, uh, you know, I think media is easier to get into than ever before, particularly with the plethora of podcasts available. Yeah, so true. So true. And, and really, you have to have, do you have to have a like a mission or um, some sort of big event that occurs? Or can you just come in with, like you mentioned, the five tips on the new year? I, I mean, is it that easy? Yeah, I would rather you have just simple, good, valuable information. I remember when I interviewed Entrepreneur Magazine for the, prof for excuse me, for Guerrilla Publicity, I actually asked her, what do you love and what do you hate about publicity? And I remember the editor of Entrepreneur Magazine, where you would want to be, right? She said to me, just be authentic with what you offer and mm -hmm. give value and benefit. So it isn't like my business, woohoo, look at us, look at this event, look at, look at, look at. No, that's called beat the chest publicity. <laughs> <laughs> what, we, what we want, what we want is for you to give others great tips on how to. Like, mm -hmm. think how to. 
If you're doing how to, I promise you, it's much more interesting and it's going to be much more valuable. And then the other aspect of that gets press is commenting on what's happening in the media, in the news. Like, I mean, I got called when um, a major ad agency made uh, the CEO in Dallas, Texas, made a racist comment. He got fired by Motel 6, by Home Depot, by I all. Yeah. Yes, exactly. By all these huge agencies. He was an, a big agency, got fired by all these accounts. And next thing I know, my phone's blowing up say, saying, you know, this is ABC TV in Dallas. I didn't have to go anywhere. It was all by Zoom. They said, will you give us some publicity comments? What did he do wrong? Why did he get fired? So, you know, I hadn't even read the story in that moment. But, you know, here's, here's good news. Google is a beautiful thing, right? You just look <laughs> things up, you get an opinion, and you speak that easily. I love it. I love it. So there's so many opportunities for you to get publicity, but it has to align with your message and what you stand for and what you're the expert in. So I think that this is a fantastic opportunity. And it seems easier because you're, is it, is it technically pushing out versus trying to drag people in via other marketing? I yeah, mean, is that kind well, of the the yin and yang of it? Yes, I like to call it magnetizing. It's magnetizing people to you, right? Because what happens is that they are attracted to you. Absolutely. They're attracted to your message. And I want to add one thing in that it's not always about what you're an expert in. Sometimes mm. it's about using, I like to call this, everything you've got. So <laughs> okay. Yeah. So let me give you an example. Recently, a woman was in my virtual publicity course and I look across the Zoom room and she was there to drive clients to her, to her marketing agency. She owns a digital marketing agency. Mm -hmm. And I look across the Zoom room and she's, well, she's a lovely woman, young woman, a Filipino. And I said, you know what? Forget everything we've been talking about, about, you know, what could people do to have more social media, to have better response? I want you to go out and talk about hashtag stop Asian hate. And that, that was actually what got her two speaking engage engagements that week, got her nine clients that week, because why? She was out talking about one thing, but then she drove people back into her agency, back into Ooh. her website. And they had heard of her somewhere. That's what I like to call it. The I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. They've heard of her. They have familiarity. They have recognition. And she was out using everything she's got. What could you be using that perhaps you haven't been using it so far? You know, my uh, Hispanic clients go to Latin media, my Christian clients go into Christian media, and so on and so forth. Use everything you've got. It'll make a big difference. That's fantastic. I didn't even think that we could draw business in by having some natural skill set or talent or existence that we belong to or 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 a belief that we have or a you know even a hobby that we do or the fact that we are part of a small family a big family a no family i mean there's so many different avenues that you can pull that out that everybody can look in the mirror and go ooh maybe i do have that link with something it's Fantastic. called use everything you've got. Being a woman, International Women's Day. One of my right? clients had breast cancer and she's a oh. coach. I said, I want you to go out talking about that for October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Drove her business through the roof in a good way because it increased all of, imagine this, you know, prospects coming in because they're connected to you now. She's a stress relief coach mm. using her breast cancer journey for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, that was a natural fit. She never saw it before. No, because we're so busy chasing clients and putting out fires. Ugh. So let we're me ask you. Box. You're in your own we're, box, right? Right, we are in our own box. We cannot see the forest through the trees. We got all sorts of problems with, with seeing and getting out there. And that's why having an expert like you coming on the show and, and opening the eyes of the listeners going, I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. So this is a fantastic opportunity. Um, something I heard about that you kind of um, touched on a couple of times, there are every day, there is some sort of 
national day, right? Your kindness day that comes up. We can, we, there's, there's calendars with all these things that we can pull out, right? Things that make sense to us or lead to our business that maybe we can jump into, right? Absolutely. In fact, if you go look up nationaldaycalendar.com, you will find something, I promise. You will find something that you can say yes to. And sometimes mm. it'll be unusual or using everything you've got. Like my client, who is he's a consultant, but he's also the dad to a four-year-old. And he says, Jill, I looked up National Hot Dog Day and I'm <laughs> I make a mean hot dog, he says, because I got a four year old. I better know how to make a hot dog. And guess what? He got tremendous publicity on National Hot Dog Day. And then guess what? He drove everybody back, what? To his website, increased his business. But he got in using everything he's got. Take That's a look at yourself. I promise you, there's fantastic. something to use. That's fantastic. Okay, so now we've got our message. Um, we're looking at ourselves in different ways. We're looking at how we can get that free publicity with some help of an associate to do all the groundwork for us. We've got all these fantastic ideas. What do we do with them? There's a lot. There's a lot. What Start do we do with one them? Place. Start one place. Work on uh, having, frankly, more podcasts would probably be easiest and go to iTunes and type in a keyword. And by the way, did I say you? No, to have your assistant do that um, or find an assistant to do that. Type in one keyword and watch what shows up. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're watching this, you're probably in business, type in the word business. Let's see how many podcasts show up. And then frankly, start reaching out to the hosts with a good bio, just mm -hmm. one. And then like one um, intro paragraph, quick, hey, you know, I see that you have a podcast on fill in the blank. Um, and I am a business owner specialist in this. Boom, here's my website. Love to be on your show. Like, keep it really simple, my friends. This is not complicated. And honestly, people complicate it. So of course we do. Yes, yeah, so of course we do. Let's make this really simple. And that would be a great place to start. I love that because we can get, I mean, again, we're trying to run our business. We've got a life outside of business, hopefully. Um, you know, we've got, we've got things we're doing and there's so many to-dos and places that we should be and going. But I love the idea that you just chose one and you said, go do that for a little while. Have someone help you do that, you know? And then as you're expanding and broadening, what's the next logical step that you would try? So I love that. Just keep it simple and add small little bits to it. Um, it's really funny. One of my clients has been, um, has been doing a tremendous amount of effort on Instagram. And I keep asking her, and she's a little strong-headed, but I keep asking her, is Instagram where your clients are? And she's not getting the headway that she's had. And finally, we just had a conversation a few, few days ago. She's starting to go, oh, maybe there are other avenues with this. And I think PR, would be a better avenue than switching from Instagram to Facebook or, you know, uh, to TikTok or whatever that is, because I think that publicity would get her awareness and still draw people to her website with everything that she's got to offer on it. Exactly. And you know, social media, I, listen, I'm not opposed to any of it, but think of, of it as not. supplemental. Supplemental. If you're relying on social media to be your publicity, think again, my friends, because I hate to say it, but people ain't reading your stuff all the time. They just aren't. So I want multiple ways for you to magnify and monetize and multiply. That's really where I want your head to be like, oh, the power of publicity builds that credibility and reaches many also in different markets quickly and frankly elevates your status so that you're really credible and people go, well, you must be important because you're being featured in media. I think that that's the biggest aha is that it elevates you to above all of your competition who's not doing this, by the way, they're not doing this. And if you did this and added PR, you then become automatically through association of these big big PR agencies or big media agencies, you're now the expert because you were on TV or you were in Inc. Magazine or you were in your local newspaper or, you know, I mean, what a, what a, what a, skyrocketing jump right 
big difference as opposed to spinning around and wheels and let's try this and chasing after that shiny object. Mm. You know, I mean, listen, we could all be doing lots of things all the time. Stay focused, keep your name out there, stay credible. It'll drive people to you. Publicity is a powerful strategy to do that simply without spending a fortune. Oh, that's the magic right there. Jill, this is fantastic. You have given us so many really juicy nuggets that I think every single business owner should be doing, whether you're in a dentist or you're an attorney or you've got an organization company or you're a consultant or a realtor, publicity. That's it. That's where, that's where I think your biggest bang for your buck and it can complement everything else you're doing. So, whew, good stuff. Jill, where can listeners find out more about you? Oh, thank you. Well, I know we're going to post some things in the chat, but check out jilllublin.com slash publicity. And also I've got a wonderful free gift for you. So um, if you like this, I got more great tips. I got an interactive live free publicity masterclass. And you can find that at publicitycrashcourse.com slash free gift. That's great. And then talk to us briefly about, we didn't get a chance to really truly touch on it, but I want to do this. Tell me why there, there's a, um, a, what am I, a movement called Profit of Kindness. What, what is that? Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, um, it's, a bit, it's a bit one of those inspired things. And when Profit of Kindness came out, I, I felt, I don't know how else to say this, but little whispers from God mm. about do kindness circles. And when COVID hit, I'm like, I'm doing them and I'm doing them now. So we now have a year of kindness. We've got a kindness summit that celebrates World Kindness Day. And we're keeping this movement going because I figure all of us should be practicing a conscious act of kindness every single day. So come join us. Let's keep this kindness moving. And where can they find that? Um, go to uh, jilllublin.com slash year of kindness and join me for the summit. Join me for our year of kindness. Join me for it all. You know what? It's, it's, something, it's something we all need and ought to be doing because when you give and you show, it comes back in, in, in multiple folds. So I love it. Jill, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate everything that you shared with us today and all of the great information you had. So um, Listeners, I hope you found a couple ideas to put into your business that will help you be more profitable. I know that I have, and honestly, I'm going to go check out that profitability challenge and the kindness challenge because it, it's just warm in my heart, and I think you should too. And now more than ever, it's important to build your own business like you want to sell it. Don't forget to register for my new web class on how to turn your business into one worth selling, even if you aren't thinking of selling it yet, because there are a ton of benefits to having a sale-worthy business. Join us on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time and go register for free at exitwithaplan.com. You don't wanna miss this class. And as always, we would love, Jill and I would love to hear your questions or ideas on what kind of media you are looking for or just some help. Comment on the, on the podcast here and um, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you uh, join our little circle. Um, and as always, you can catch Profit with a Plan on any of your favorite podcast players. And we're looking forward to more great profitable information on next week's show. So until then, make your plans and profit with them. Thanks so much, Joe.